so Elon finally has gotten the left to care about free speech. The whole time that Twitter was banning conservatives, anybody in the great Barrington Declaration who declared maybe, just maybe, we shouldn't have these harsh draconian lockdowns. Maybe we should just put those who are most at risk into a quarantine, protect them as best we can and get on with their lives. These are the people that they applauded when the censors at Twitter shadow banned them, when they banned their accounts entirely. They applauded when they banned Project Veritas for not blocking out the number on a house. This was Twitter's excuse to ban Project Veritas. And suddenly, after applauding this, after staying silent about the Hunter Biden laptop, after decrying it as misinformation by the Russians and applauding when an actual story by the New York Post was banned off of Twitter and demoted at Facebook, no doubt at the behest of the FBI and the Uniparty and specifically the Democrats. Oh my goodness, what a donation to the Democratic campaigns. And suddenly they're up in arms because Elon banned or at least temporarily suspended some journalists, and I put those in quotes, who gave out information on his jet, who stalked his real-time location after somebody used that to attack a car with his young son in it. Now, this is the depravity of the left. They don't care. They stayed silent all the time while every conservative was being banned, shadow banned, whatever, off of Twitter. And suddenly, those who were doxing Elon's location become the heroes of free speech. And how dare Twitter ban them? How dare Twitter suspend their accounts and interfere with their ability to dox people? Ha <laughs> ha Now they care about free speech. You see the hypocrisy of these people. They only care about winning. They only care when they are hurt by their rules. This is why they change the definitions of rules. They don't care about the rules that we have in place in order to communicate. If things don't go their way, they change the rules, whether it's the elections and ability to heart ballot harvest to what they consider to be the utmost in censorship. These people have no right to speak. They should just stay silent because every time that they open their mouth, they're demonstrating their utter hypocrisy. They cheer while Donald Trump is banned from Twitter for something that we now is now revealed that they didn't even have the goods for according to their own terms and conditions. They managed, according to what I read with the Twitter files, to ban Donald Trump because he used the word patriot to describe those who voted for them, and they believe that the word patriot is an incitement to violence, according to v Vijaya Gotti, the former head of trust and safety at Twitter. The real CEO, while Jack Dorsey was completely checked out, meditating in the woods wherever he was. The leftists should have no say. We need to mock these people. They should not even be part of the conversation because they are so hypocritical. They are evil people. They want rules for thee, but not for me. They can go ahead and dox people. That's perfectly fine. And when they get banned for doing so, they say free speech, free speech, free speech, while they applaud James O'Keefe being banned from Twitter and Project Veritas and everybody else. These people are hypocrites and we all know it. You know it. Your brother knows it. Everybody knows it. And I'm just going to point it out. I'm going to keep preaching so that you guys who might be scared of some of these people, know that I have your back, know that there are people like me speaking out, so you guys can tell them the same thing. These people are evil. They are hypocrites. They only care about winning and power. They don't have any scruples. They don't have any integrity. And that is being demonstrated by the way that they react to people that are doxing Elon Jet while they applaud everybody else being censored. Oh no, don't censor us. We're the left. You can't do it yet. You guys are the hypocrites.